When you hear the term influencer, what comes to mind? A trendy 20-something publishing a well-curated feed of aspirational photos? Or maybe a beauty vlogger sharing daily makeup looks? I'm sure you're not imagining a disheveled car reviewer in chino shorts and sneakers. This? 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 Hey, we should probably go do more off-roading. It's on fire! Ah! Do you have butt implants? Well, the car space has its own set of influencers, and these people are managing to make a comfortable living by talking about cars on YouTube. There's a devoted following obsessed with YouTube stars who review new cars, showcase their quirks and features, work on their own cars, and even just tell stories about them. So much so that it's a growing subculture. I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. Traditionally, people looking to learn about cars were limited to review columns and TV shows like Top Gear. But nowadays, if you search any make and model on YouTube, there's sure to be a video of someone reviewing it, test driving it, making modifications to it, and telling you why or why not you should have one in your own driveway. Now is the fun stuff. This car comes equipped with a 5 liter V10, making around 520 horsepower. It revs to more than eight grand, and it has a six speed manual transmission, making it capable of almost 200 miles an hour. But these new car influencers have been largely left out of broader discussions about the influencer world. And yet these guys, and yes, they're mostly guys, are seriously disrupting the way people get information about one of the biggest purchases they make in their lives. And if that's not influence, then I don't know what is. I talked to four of the biggest car YouTubers to find out why their audiences love them so much. The car industry isn't like gigantic on YouTube. It's not like makeup tutorials or something. Like we're not gonna get, no one's gonna get 15 million views per video. If, if Doug's not doing it, yeah. if Chris Fix isn't doing it, nobody will. nobody's gonna get it until then. <laughs> While from the surface, it might not look like this corner of the influencer world is as glamorous as the more publicized ones like fashion, travel, and beauty, there is a reason these guys have such dedicated followings. It's clear that there's a limitless and insatiable hunger for automotive content on YouTube. It's not just the daily vlogs or the car reviews or storytelling or anything else. People are finding that they can build a car, modify a car, drive a car, talk about a car, research a car, anything they want to do around a car. And there are people on YouTube excited and hungry to consume that content. All this stuff is getting installed in that car. That's my 2003 Lamborghini Murcielago, and it was the movie car from Fast of the Furious 8, or Fate of the Furious. Just as a college-age woman might stay up all night watching makeup tutorials, there's a 30-year-old man secretly listening to the latest video from Doug DeMiro on his AirPods at work. Everybody wants to know, why does a Rolls-Royce cost a half million dollars? What does that car have that my car doesn't have. And I like to try to show off that stuff. Well, there's curtains in the back that are power operated. And you know, there's the headliner looks like a starry night sky and things like that. I think people also get an emotional attachment to the car. Every channel has its own quirks. Ed Boolean of VinWiki starts each video with a crazy sound bite and then dives into the story. Is there a speed at which people are entitled to punch you in the face for going that fast? Freddie Hernandez of Tavares urges his viewers to wrench every day. You guys need to wrench every day. And the straight pipes do their visor test, no matter if they are in a Porsche GT3 or Honda Civic. Three, two, one. Fail. Yeah. That fail. Yeah. All these fun antics have garnered just these four accounts, millions of subscribers, nearly a billion views, and some pretty lucrative channels. Every one of the YouTubers I spoke with do this full time. Like influencers in other fields, these guys make their income from a variety of sources, but the majority of it comes from YouTube ad revenue and brand deals. If you don't care about cars, you won't get what all the fuss is about. But if you do, this explosion of independent content is a dream come true. Because while not everyone is going to own a McLaren, we all know how to open one thanks to Doug DeMiro. It turns out that you slide your hand under the door in just the right way and it opens up for you. It's like a secret handshake known only to McLaren owners. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.